Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Shalom Wars Adventure in Factorio. So here we're picking up from where we left off. We're creating our little uh, uh, units for for steel processing to to continue you know, creating our our automation for the the piercing rounds. So that way we can better deal with the alien threat that's looming upon us and. We're still doing research. Oh no, we're not doing research. So let's let's pick our research. I want to do the combat robotics because I want the the robots. So we're going to do that, and that will start. Yeah, these will all start uh, loading up their stuff. I hope. Yeah, it looks like they are. Um, alt key. Okay, alt key to see all that stuff. So yes. I'm basically recording this right after the other, and I was going to get belts, more belts. So let's take a look where those are stored, right here. Let's grab some more belts. Maybe we need to make a little more of those. We have these guys, which are stored, because if we don't need to make them for here, then we put them into here for the green research, which seems to be all filled up, which is perfect. Okay. So let's continue with this. I wanted to build some underbelts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe we'll do that. Because we need these guys. So we'll put this underneath and we'll bring it out. And I think that will be okay. Ah, this is too close. Okay, so let's pick this stuff up. Okay. Turn it now. There we go. Because now we can then use these guys. I think we can use the small guys. Use the small fries like this. And then we can use the big guys for output like that. Okay, then we need some belts to take the fuel down, and then we're going to do the same thing on this side as well. One and this one. Okay, and then we can load or the load them up. Okay. And then we need the big, but uh, these guys, the bigger inserters. Let's make a bunch of these. Okay, since we're using those ones, and then these will output to a non-existing line, which should be right here. Okay, same with this side. Okay, and we'll bring it in this way. Okay, and then we'll bring it in down into here, I guess. And then this is where we'll do whatever. So let's put power to all of this. So how are we gonna do that? We need to put power poles. Shit. So why is this not the same as that? Is it because I need one, two spaces? Okay, maybe because I didn't put enough spaces. Crap. I thought I could power this stuff though. Okay, well we're gonna have to redesign this a bit. Maybe. Yeah, okay, well, no, we'll, we'll, we'll just, we'll redesign it. I'm going to basically make this one more out, so. Yeah, okay, 
I think we can keep these where they are. Just trying to see about these. Okay, so I can load it in. And then we need the two inserters. We need a far one and a short one. Which means this side will have to do the same thing. Okay. But this has to be there. Just because of how this is, it's not that it has to be there. So it means that we can just move through this whole schmozzle. Okay, let's just pick those up. Okay, let's start all over here. Okay. Okay, so if we keep this one in place, like original, pick these guys up okay so I'm gonna need inserters to insert in should be like that which means that this can insert here two three okay so let's do that okay so these can insert and then these can eject onto an internal track which then this belt will go like this this is the steel okay which means we can power both sides so now if you go like this we need one space we can go down and then we can add these little small dudes here here and here. Same for the other side. And we just repeat what we built. One, two, three. And then we use these dudes. Yeah, one, two, three. And then these guys, one, two, three. And then this belt will come down. There we go. Okay, and let's put this. Let's put the fuel into these guys. Because I got a lot of fuel. <laughs> and this way the fuel is automated. And we don't even have to worry about it. Okay. Now let's build our output. Okay, let's bring it in to the middle. I need more belts. <laughs> Using a lot of these belts actually, which is surprising. Um, let's see here. Yes, that was an unknown purpose. So I think I got. Oh, I don't have enough defenses over there, so let's add some more defenses. Two, three, five. Three more bullets. So let's grab some more bullets here. Oh, but we're not making bullets because that's what we're working towards. What's in here? A bunch of old stuff. So let's pick that up because it's going to get in the way. Okay. So maybe I don't need a balancer because those two load on either side of the belt. Bring it down to here. And now once we have those steel plates so now we need copper plates. And that's where this comes into play. Like this, like that. Okay, maybe just right here. Now let's put this like this. Put one. Probably like this. And 
put this like that. Okay, let's power this up here, see how it looks. So I want to put power poles one there, one there, one there, one there, and then we just do it right here, really close. Oh, okay, it's not connected. I was like, why is there no power? There we go. I think what we need to do is put one here too, just in case. There we go, now it's making steel. The steel should get outputted. Put, that, put a light right there. Yes, yeah, so these should process and then they should output. Bang, okay, and then it'll put into the one. Perfect, okay. Now we can bring the power down to here. One, two. This will make piercing rounds. Which then we can put into a steel chest. And let's make a couple steel chests. Because I want to put one here to siphon off and one here for the ammo and we'll probably have a bunch of ammo like that this one I don't want too much probably like that and then we just start stealing perfect and it will eventually catch up because this will fill up it just sucks because the ammo so maybe will stop this for a moment we'll let it ah, you know what I have confidence it won't take all of them so let's take a look here just uh, one more iteration of this so it creates six at a time I think as long as some get through, we'll be okay. Okay, so I want to make grenades now. Or actually, I am making grenades. They're already being made. They're being made down here where the steel plates are. And that. I'm just seeing if there's a backlog at all. Well, slowly there's a backlog happening, but... It's because 50% of the steel from here disappears. And then it goes up this way. And then uh, some steel gets taken for this, I think. For th this. And then whatever's left goes past for processing steel, uh, these steel girders things. Maybe we'll just keep a couple hundred on hand. Maybe a hundred for now, even. So that way then this will prioritize. Oh, I don't want this in here, or this. Okay, well, let's load up some more ammo here. Cool, this is cool. Got our little base set up. Put some in there. Some in there. Okay. Still need more ammo though. They take a lot longer to make those ones, it seems. And now it seems like the steel, there's not enough steel production. So, how do we increase steel production? Well, we can add an extra set of these guys. And we can. Move that light. Basically, place another set of these fuel. Must be fuel as well, and then okay, and then we build. 
those. Build that. Okay, and then we build a couple inserters here. And then we just make sure everything's powered. Right there, and I think right there, which means that we can pop our light right here. Perfect. So now we added an extra set. So more plates will be going down that way. Let's see what the, the pollution map looks like. Okay, it's not too bad. Well, we're defended, so that's not a big deal. So let's run over... Yeah, okay. Yeah, make 300 grenades and that'll be good, I think. Let's put our storage somewhere right here, maybe. Let's see. We got some wood boxes still. And we can put this old stuff in here. Those. Maybe put these in here. We don't need those at the moment. Okay. Perfect. We'll just keep that. Lights are on again. How's production going for electricity? Well, we're doing good for that. Okay, good. Okay, okay. So we got this all reorganized and going better. What's next? Okay. Labs. I don't really have anything here, is there? Maybe I can make repair packs? Thinking here, thinking how much time we got left. Ah, I got a little bit of time left. So, tell you what. Since I got a bunch of that ammo, I got a bunch of this ammo. Let's go check out how this stuff works. Let's try the grenades too. So, I'm going to check how much ammo we have here. We got a little bit. Okay, let's do that. Going to put a gate in here, it's down here. We're right about here probably would be a good spot. And I think all you do is you just go one, two, three. Okay, so when you're in, okay, cool. There you go. So when you're nearby it opens up. And when you're far away it's closed. I like that a lot. That's so cool. And and we'll have to put power lines in here at some point because we're going to have lasers, I hope. Okay, so now we're out in the wild. Let's see how far away are we from these guys. So these guys will be unchecked. So we need to... Put... Ooh, yay, those are done. Okay. Let's see here. Maybe we'll do the gun turret damage. Advanced material processing. This will make steel furnace. Which is better furnace, I think. 180 kilowatts, and I think it's electric, too. Crafting speed of 2. So I think we'll do this, because we need to increase production. Okay. And let's load this up with ammo. Okay, and yeah, it will help. Okay, so did that. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna chew up our resources really fast, of course. I'm gonna put some in there, some in there, and then we just basically hopscotch it. Okay. 
Well, the armor is doing really good. Cool. Well, it looks like that's iron deposit. We'll use it to shotgun ammo. There we go. And this looks like iron ore. Beautiful. We need to bring that back with us somehow. And there we go. That is taken out. So actually, we should repair these guys. Uh, there we go. Pick that up. I'll chop this tree down. Okay. Tiny deposit, hey? 2.4 thousand. Probably bring him back with belts. So this is where trains would be useful, actually. You can make a quick train that comes out here, loads up. And that goes away. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll come back to that. Since it's a little tiny, tiny deposit there, we'll come back to that. It's not a big deal. All iron is useful, but for this purpose, <laughs> I think it's a bit far away. So we took that out, so that was good. So this one down here will become a threat. So let's take a look at that one here before we finish. And then we'll call it a day. So just gonna run back this way. So check out what these guys look like. See it on there yet? Okay, getting stuck. I wish it would tell you what they were, but it looks like there's just a bunch of little biters and looks like we should be able to take care of this stuff. So, with that in mind, I think we're going to go run over here. I want to put a gate in here probably somewhere. Right about in the middle. Right about in here. This sounds good. So we go one, two three four there we go okay let's make some more gates here three four how many walls do we got in here now Ooh, we're full on walls good but we need walls to make more gates so we'll grab a stack and then, oh yeah, and then this is filling up. Once that fills up, this will back up. And I think these two will be fine to do what we need to do. So this one will be out soon. That's cool. Ah, but there's enough stone all around that we can always move this processing. So it's not a big deal. We got enough resources here to last a long time. And it looks like we got this stuff going. Yeah, so there is a backlog of steel, uh, of these little steel girders, so it's good. Got more bullets, which is good. And I didn't even use grenades. Uh, well, anyways, I thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this show, because I know I certainly am. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.